Hey everyone, my name is Ramzi Lakos and I'm Sam's Emerging Arts Leader intern this spring and this is my My Favorite Things tour. Now since we can't go into the museum right now, I'm coming to you live from my home, so welcome. Now the theme of this tour is fusion. What happens when one culture meets another culture? Can cultural dialogue exist within one object? And what does that look like? Now I'll be answering this question by looking at one of my favorite things on view at the SAM right now, Amarocco by Aaron Fowler. Now, I remember like very clearly when I first saw this object on view at the SAM. It was Thursday night, the museum was open late, and I was walking around the galleries with my housemate. All of a sudden, I hear someone calling my name. It's my supervisor, and she's waving us over to this walled off gallery. We step inside and see loads of people centered around a man talking to a camera. It's Aaron Fowler, and he's wearing something I've never seen before. It's a hoodie in the top half and a caftan dress in the bottom fused together diagonally. After he leaves, we walk over to the largest piece in the room and Morocco and start taking it in. This is definitely a work of art that deserves to be seen in person. It's huge, at least 15 feet across and filled with details. Glass, shoes, half-smoked joints, baskets and cutouts of photos. There's a rhythm and texture to Aaron Fowler's sculptures. He works heavily with found objects because they accrue meaning over time meaning that is rich and layered, something you can't just get with fresh paint from a tube. Like a, I don't know, if I see something, no matter where, it's in the middle of driving somewhere, and I'm like, whoa, what's that? And people kind of think I'm crazy because it's like a mirror on the ground, or it's like the hot tub cover, or it's like something that speaks to me. So I kind of just collect everything, even though I don't know what I'm gonna use it for at the beginning, but I feel like certain things kind of just speak to me. You know, so I kind of... Aaron's creative process is intuitive. He's using objects directly from his environment to create sculptures about his life and the things that matter to him. Later that same night, we listened to Aaron Fowler's conversation with a curator and learned about the story behind this work. On his first day of grad school, he meets a Moroccan student named Yanis, and they immediately hit it off. Years later, Yanis invites Aaron to visit Morocco with him, and the experience is incredibly formative. The duo come back and set out to meld their cultures together. America, Morocco, and Morocco. Suddenly, everything clicked into place for me. As an American Egyptian, born and raised in the Middle East, now living in America, I could see myself reflected in this piece which is unique for me because my identity mostly exists in in-between spaces. Oftentimes, art appeals to parts of me, but this spoke to me as a whole. And I feel grateful and privileged to be able to see myself in an art museum, in artwork that matters to me. Amarocco is all about cultural fusion. Those shoes in the background, they're Babouche Force Ones, a combination of American and Moroccan style. The babouche is the national shoe of Morocco, a pointy-toed slipper worn across the country. The Air Force Ones are an iconic shoe in Black American culture. Released by Nike in the 1980s as their first ever basketball sneaker, Air Force Ones have left their mark across the US and the world for four decades cropping up in urban culture and classics like St. Louis rapper Nelly's 2002 anthem dedicated entirely to the sneaker. Their sleek, minimal design have also made them the ideal blank canvas for self-expression among artists, designers, and sneakerheads. For all these reasons, it makes sense why Aaron Fowler chose them to represent his hometown of St. Louis. Amarocco depicts a scene from the Bible where Jesus washes the feet of his disciples, except 
he's replaced Jesus and his disciples with himself and his friends. Instead of a biblical backdrop, this scene is set in a shoe store selling those American Moroccan slipper sneakers they created. But those shoes aren't the only piece of hybrid style in Morocco. The dress I mentioned at the start of this video is another one of Aaron and Giannis' creations, a Moroccan jaleba sewn together with a hoodie. The jaleba or galabeya is a kind of dress worn by men and women across the Arab world. Here's a photo of me wearing one in Egypt. The hybrid Arab-American clothing line in Morocco isn't just a neat idea. Aaron and Giannis have plans to make it a reality. And this gets at the core philosophy underlying Aaron Fowler's work. He uses artistic expression as a way to manifest his future. The title of his exhibition at Sam, Into Existence, is a reference to what his grandmother always told him growing up. You need to speak it into existence. And Morocco is his way of investing energy into their collective dream and bringing it to fruition. So one day, they can open up a shoe store and release a custom Jaleba clothing line. But most importantly, Amorocco is a reflection of Aaron's continued commitment to a friendship that transcends cultural barriers. While doing my research for this tour, Sam Curator of African and Oceanic Art, Pam McCluskey, sent me an episode of The Hidden Brain titled Creative Differences. The Hidden Brain is an NPR podcast led by Shankar Vedantam that uses science to understand human behavior. In the episode, they reference a study which set out to uncover the relationship between creativity and cultural exchange. They found that those who form friendships with people from other cultures scored higher on a task measuring creativity. But more importantly, it wasn't just whether or not they had cross-cultural friendships. What mattered was the depth of those friendships. How far had they gone to truly understand each other? And that's what I see expressed in Aaron Fowler's work. The imaginative creativity in Morocco is rooted in understanding, intentionality, and friendship. And that's what makes this piece so compelling to me. It's deeply personal, relevant, and relatable. It reminds me of my friends and how they've been impactful in my life. It reminds me of my home, where culture was always being exchanged between different sides of my family. To me, Morocco is this beautiful expression of the combination of difference. When the museum reopens, I highly encourage you to spend some time with Aaron Fowler's work in the Jacob Lawrence and Gwendolyn Knight Gallery on the third floor. Thank you all so much for joining me on this video tour, and I wish you all a wonderful day.